Hello and welcome to this video in which I'm going to demonstrate uh, the curvature of the earth by taking video shots, by look, examining video shots I took looking up the River Tay in Scotland. Now, I've got it up on Google Earth, what, we're look, what I'm going to be showing you. Now, I'm going to be using the two bridges across the Tay as references. Now you can see the Tay has got two bridges. It's got a road bridge here and it's got a rail bridge here. Now I stood here next to and in the grounds of um, Broughty Ferry Castle at the mouth of the River Tay. Now I can use this to give you an indication of the kind of distances involved. So I'm about here and the road bridge you can see is about sort of three to three and a half miles regardless, depending on which bit of the bridge you're going to be looking at. And then I can see, you can see, I'll be able to see about maybe half the rail bridge, which is about you know, 4.8 miles. And I can look at that in kilometres. So the bridge is what, about five kilometres, four and three quarters to maybe five and a half kilometres. And the rail bridge is about 7.7, 7.8 kilometres. In particular, I'm going to be using this little bit of the bridge here as a reference point. So that's 7.8 kilometres away. Now, I took two shots using a video camera, one right on the shoreline. Um, now, you'll be able to see from the shot that I am actually right on the shoreline. And I measured the height of my camera lens above sea level and it was about 130 centimetres. Now 130 centimetres above sea level gives you a distance to the horizon of about four kilometres. So <clears throat> the horizon line on my video camera, on my, the video I've taken, should be about here. Should be sort of a circle around here for me. So you we would expect that the, the road bridge is beginning to be obscured by the horizon. Now we would definitely expect to start see, to see the rail bridge being obscured by the horizon. Now, if you actually do the calculations for the distance, um, you should find that about maybe the, the bottom first meter of the bridge should be obscured by the horizon. So we should be missing about a, a meter of the, off the bottom of the bridge. Now, I also moved up to slightly higher ground. I moved into the, the grounds of the castle, which I, I'm not exactly sure of the height. I would say about 8 to 10 metres above sea level. And I stood there and took the same shot down the Tay, looking at the two bridges. And you can compare what you see from the sea level, from what, uh, 130 centimetres above sea level, to maybe 8 to 10 metres above sea level. Now, like I said, I'm not exactly sure what height the castle is, the castle grounds are, but the horizon line is clearly way past the rail bridge at that height. So we can see both bridges very clearly. Now, uh, I'll shut this down. And you can see here, this is a shot from the shoreline. Looking up the River Tay, you can see the bridges in the distance. Now I turn around so you can see exactly where I am, I'm next to Broughty Ferry Castle. And the shot after this is taken from up here. So I actually move up here and take the same shot looking down at the two bridges. And I'll show you at the end of this video clip, I actually move the camera down to show you that the tripod's actually just inside the water. So this is 130 centimetres above sea level. And let's have a look at what we see. Well, if you look at that shot there, I think you can agree that what you're seeing is a horizon line that is just starting to obscure the bottom of the road bridge. Um, it's clearly starting to obscure the bottom of the rail bridge and has obscured <coughs> Part of the landscape in the distance will become a much clearer how that is the case once I look at the other footage. But if we just have a look at this, 
I'll move on to a little bit here. If you look here, you really get a sense of the water just kind of abruptly ending less than three miles from where I am. I mean, it's like it just stops. I mean, it almost looks like there's some kind of like, like there's an edge here. You can imagine like that, like it being the edge of a dam or something. Like there's a wall on the other side. The water just ends. Now, if you if the Earth was flat, this is almost certainly not what you would expect to see. If the Earth is a sphere, this is very much exactly what you expect to see. You expect to see the water just abruptly ending a certain distance from shore and that distance being determined by how high above sea level your eyes are or, the, or your camera lens is in this case. So let's just look at another few shots of this. Okay. Right, now let's have a look at the shot from a few meters above this. Like I said, I don't know, I estimate eight to ten meters higher. And this is what you see. And when you when I home in on when I zoom in on the bridges, you're going to see something really quite different. Now you can see there's no horizon line between myself and the road bridge anymore. You can clearly see that whatever the horizon line is, it's past both bridges now. I think you can appreciate that what you're seeing here is much different than what you were seeing just a few meters lower than this. Now there's no reasonable way of explaining this if you believe the Earth is flat. These videos quite clearly show the curvature of the Earth. Yeah, I can go even, I'm going to go even further than this and do like a, a comparison. And I'm going to use this part of the bridge here to compare. Now you can see it's a distinctive part of the bridge. The bridge changes from one section to another section here. I can find that on the other shot. Not that bit. Here it is here. And let's have a look at the difference between the two. Now I can do more than just that. We can actually do proper comparison of the two. Now if I go to now what I want to do here is a direct comparison of the shots of a shot taken from the seashore and a shot taken from above the sea line in, in the castle grounds. And when we make a comparison here we should see like what what we would expect to see if the earth is round is that part of the bridge is obscured by the horizon. So I want to see if we can see that here. Now, I'll show you what I've done is on this sequence line down here, I've layered two shots. The top layer is, I'll turn the opacity up, is the shot taken from the bridge, sorry, the castle. And if I turn the opacity down on that, you can see the lower shot this one here, which is taken from the seashore. So if we sort of go halfway between, we can see both of them. And we can move them on top of each other. Let me see if this one down. Now, 
if you if I move this around you can if you look at the sort of pattern the bridge forms here when I move the two images around they sort of you can see where they kind of click into each other if you know what I mean and yeah there you can see now the now the position of the legs of the road bridge changes because the, the bridges are about a mile apart and we have moved slightly. But you can see that I've managed to join up the images of the, the road, the, sorry, the rail bridge in the background completely. Now have a look at what happens to the rail bridge as you move from a shot taken less than 130 centimetres above sea line, above uh, sea level, to maybe 8 to 10 metres above sea level. Have a look. I mean, say for example, close in on, have a look at that leg of the bridge there, the one I'm pointing to. Watch it carefully. Or look at that leg there. Look at this one here. Okay, you're clearly seeing more of the bridge from the castle than you are from the seashore. I mean, do I have to keep doing this? Do I have to make it any more obvious? In this shot here, part of the rail bridge has clearly been obscured by the curvature of the water. You move up, the horizon line moves further away, and you can see the whole of the bridge. You can see that the legs the bridge get longer, the rest of the top of the bridge stays exactly where it is, both images of the bridge stay superimposed on top of each other, the top of the bridge stays the same, the position of the legs stays the same, the only thing that changes is that you suddenly see that part of the bottom of the bridges have been obscured in this shot here. get rid of the frame lines. Okay. This clearly demonstrates the curvature of the earth. At the exact distance you would expect to see it if you're standing on a sphere with four, the radius of 4,000 miles. This video shows that the earth is a sphere. <laughs>